Hello, my fabulous friends! Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite good witch, Glenda. Just a little more sassy this time. You can call me Glenda the Good Bitch. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Today we're taking a break from our usual gaming content to dive into the enchanting world of Wizard of Oz. While this film sparkles like my magical wand, the reality of its creation has some serious shadows. So grab your ruby slippers and let's spill some tea about the not so glamorous side of this classic. Also remember to stick around to the end to hear the truth about Glinda. First up, let's talk about those working conditions on set. The 1930s were not exactly known for their safety standards, more like a recipe for disaster. Long hours and crazy heat made it a real struggle. Take Jack Haley who played the Tin Man. He had an allergic reaction to that aluminum powder makeup. He got some of the metallic dust into his lungs. He was hospitalized for days. What about the Munchkins? They brought so much joy to the film, but their experiences were not as magical. Many faced long hours and tough conditions, all while trying to deliver those adorable performances. Not so fun fact, the Munchkin actors made $50 a week. The dog that played Toto, made $125 a week. That's a hell of a wage gap. There have been reports of sexual harassment on set, which is just unacceptable. In fact, some of the Munchkin actors were known for getting rowdy and even getting arrested. But guess what? They'd be brought back to the film as if nothing happened. Who else was gonna play the roles? They, they had to have them. It's a wild reminder of the chaotic environment behind the scenes. Let's not forget about our girl Judy Garland who played Dorothy. At just 16, she faced an immense amount of pressure from the studio. Controlled diets, weight loss pills, the producers even encouraged her to smoke cigarettes to keep her appetite down. Can you imagine that happening today? It's crazy. It's enough to make a good witch just shake her wand in anger. Ah! Tragically, Judy also experienced her own share of harassment during filming. The pressure and treatment she faced were brutal and had lasting impacts on her mental health. Now let's talk about the iconic Wicked Witch of the West, played by Margaret Hamilton. Her transformation into the wickedest witch we'd ever seen included some seriously intense makeup. It's pretty much just green paint. It was difficult to remove and it caused skin irritation. But it gets darker. During one of the stunts, her stunt double got third degree burns when a pyrotechnic in the broomstick exploded. She had to take off time to recover, and it was a harsh reminder of how dangerous the set itself was. Now before we wrap up, let's talk about a fun Glinda fan theory. Some fans believe that Glinda is actually the one pulling the strings throughout the stro entire story, acting as a guiding force to Dorothy. What if she's not just a good witch, but the ultimate mastermind behind Dorothy's journey? Listen, listen, Dorothy was wearing shoes that could just teleport her home. And Glinda knew that from the start, but she still sent her off on a dangerous adventure, which just so happened to completely nullify every other powerful character in Oz. Dorothy comes in, crushes the Witch of the East. Glinda sends her on a mission, which kills the Witch of the West. Nobody's ever heard of the Witch of the South. That just leaves the all-powerful Glinda the Good Witch of the North. There's nobody left to stop her. There's nobody left to prevent her from seizing all power. And she could have just sent Dorothy home from the beginning and chose not to. Was the red brick road a shortcut that would have saved Dorothy tons of time? Or was it just another yellow brick road covered in the blood of Glinda's enemies? What do y'all think? Is Glinda more than just a pretty face and a sparkly dress? Is she the all-powerful Empress of Oz now? Of course she is. Because nobody can stop her anymore. She is all-powerful after Dorothy goes back to Kansas. So what can we learn, my fabulous friends? 
The Wizard of Oz may inspire with this message of hope, but let's not forget the real people behind the curtain. Their struggles remind us that even in a magical world, the reality can be tough. Hey, if you love this deep dive into the not-so-glamorous side of The Wizard of Oz, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more fabulous stories and gaming content, comment below with your thoughts. Until next time, I'm Defective Max, as Glenda the Good Bitch. Keep dreaming, and always be your fabulous self. <laughs>